Hi boys and girls. I'm in my backyard today because I want to do a STEM challenge. STEM challenges are one of the most uh, exciting and popular centers in our class because kids get to use the creativity and really have a lot of fun. STEM st stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. And usually there's a problem that we ask the kids to solve. So today's problem is we want to make a boat out of tin foil and see how many of one object can fit inside. So this is kind of like a measurement activity for math. So you're going to need something to measure um, your boat with. So remember, when you measure anything, you need to make sure that it's the same size. I'm going to measure with crayons and I've got a bucket of all the same kind of crayon. I couldn't use these big crayons and these little crayons because they're much in different sizes and much different weights. So first you need to, you're going to need to take out a piece of tin foil. I've taken out one and folded it into a rectangle. Then you want to make a boat out of the tin foil. You can make any design you want and this is a really fun activity to do with your family because you can all make different kinds of boats and see who makes the best one. So probably the simplest boat to make is if you have like a rectangle of tin foil and you're just going to want it fold in the sides to make a smaller rectangle so all the sides are folded in and then just try and shape it at the corners. We use tin foil because unlike paper, it doesn't absorb water. That means it doesn't get as wet, so it'll sink faster. And it's pretty easy to mold because it'll stay in its shape. So there's a really simple rectangle bottom boat. And I've also made this one. Which one do you think will hold more of my crayons? There's lots of really interesting science questions to think about here, like how much surface area it has, how big it is. Hmm, what do you think? So we got to make sure that each of them float. I'm using a water table outside, but you could use your bathtub, a sink, or even a large um, container. First, I'm going to try um, the little rectangle one. Oh, I guess I should make my prediction or my estimate first. Um, I think it would probably hold uh, 10 crayons. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, Ooh. six, seven. Eight, nine, uh oh, looks like it's starting to sink a little. Ten. Oh, my prediction was wrong. It actually holds more than ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, I can see that the top of the boat is getting closer to the surface of the water. Seventeen, eighteen. 19, oh, that's it, 19. It might have also tipped because the crayons fell in a bit. Let's check the second boat. Do you think that this one will hold more crayons? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, oops, 21. Oh, I can see that it's getting closer to the surface of the water. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
31, 32. How many more do you think it can take? 33, 34. Uh-oh. 34 crayons. Well, it looked like this bigger boat could hold a lot more crayons than the smaller boat. I wonder why. So this would be a great activity to do with your family and see who can make the boat that can hold the most crayons. Another um, measurement tool that you could use if you have available that would be really great for this activity because um, they wouldn't move around as much as crayons is pennies or if you have a lot of coins in your house. But anything's fine as long as it's the same thing and the same size. We hope you have a lot of fun with this STEM, um, this STEM activity and we can't wait to see what kind of boat you make. Have a great day.